You know, we talk a lot about influencer marketing software on this show. And the worst thing about it for a lot of you is that influencer marketing software for small businesses is too expensive, right? Well, Reach Influencers solves that problem. Now your small business can find, engage, and manage micro and nano influencers, the ones you can afford to work with. And Reach Influencers costs as low as $100 per month. Are you kidding me? No, it's true. Go to CaptureTheInfluence.com slash podcast and see for yourself. Find, engage, manage, influence with software built and priced for your sized business. CaptureTheInfluence.com slash podcast. On this episode of Winfluence, for you brand side marketers, the CMOs and VPs and directors who are parsing out budget to engage influencers on your brand's behalf, you need to get out of your comfort zone. I'd like to challenge you to think about what that means. There's a difference between being an influencer and actually influencing. I'm Jason Falls, and in this podcast, we explore the people, companies, campaigns, and stories that illustrate that difference. Welcome to Winfluence, the influence marketing podcast. Hello again, friends. Thanks for listening to Winfluence, the Influence Marketing Podcast. I just returned from a short vacation with my children, Grant and Katie. We choose a city the kids haven't been to each summer and go explore for four or five days. This year, we chose Denver or the Denver area. We stayed in an Airbnb between Denver and Boulder. We spent a day in Golden, Colorado as well. Plus, we drove up into the Rockies one day, so it was far more than just Denver. Now, I have been to Denver a few times in my life, as well as Salt Lake City. I even drove from there to Logan, Utah once, so I've seen the Rocky Mountains up close before, but I'd never really gotten off the main roads and explored. Last Monday, the kids and I spent the morning in Boulder, walking up and down Pearl Street. After lunch, we headed west out of town, up into the Rocky Mountains. If you've never done so, you should. The majesty of these enormous formations is really humbling. About halfway up the first mountain, we pulled off to hike up to Boulder Falls. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the area, I realize the word hike is relative. It's only about a 200-yard walk on a gravel path down off the road, then up the side of the valley so you can peek around the bend and see the waterfall full on. But for those of you who aren't familiar with me, well, let's just say I'm not a hiker. In fact, I had back surgery a month ago, so even the task of walking up the rocks 200 yards was risky. I'm admittedly not active and horrifically out of shape, but I wanted to do this for and with my kids, so I jumped out of my comfort zone and made the trek. It might have been the most important thing I've done in years. Standing there on the side of a rocky mountain valley, admiring the natural beauty of powerful rushing water that carved an escape out of the hills into the brook below, feeling the cool mountain wind on my slightly sunburned face, and watching the wonder and joy in my children's eyes, even as teenagers, as they too saw this amazing little slice of heaven, I felt an overwhelming sense of both gratitude and disappointment. I was grateful I chose to step out of my comfort zone. I was disappointed I'd waited so long to do so. The rest of our trip, I spent contemplating the opportunities I'd passed up, just wanting to not be uncomfortable. And from a physical health standpoint, how the 49 years of wanting to be comfortable has made me just the opposite. I joke about my weight and laugh it off in masterful self-effacement, but I'm now uncomfortable just being. It's time to get out of my comfort zone in other ways. Today on Winfluence, I'm going to share with you what getting out of your comfort zone can mean for you. Whether you're a business owner hoping to leverage influence marketing, an agency or service provider helping other businesses do the same, or a creator or influencer yourself, we're going to instigate some change. We're going to make ourselves uncomfortable. But trust me, when you do so, it's worth it. Before we get uncomfortable, let's take a brief moment to thank our presenting sponsor, Tagger. It is an influencer marketing management software that takes the busy work out of what we do and makes it flow more efficiently. With Tagger, you can identify the right influencers for your campaigns by digging deep into their audience profiles, content effectiveness, affinity comparisons to brands and other influencers. 
You can reach out and engage, negotiate, and contract them for your opportunities right in the tool. You can easily and effectively measure the campaigns and content they produce as well. It is an end-to-end solution that I use every single day. You know I love it. I think you will too. Here's all I ask you to do with this. Go take a free demo and see it in action. Go to jason.online slash tagger to book one. It costs nothing, but it might give you everything you need to manage your influence marketing efforts. jason.online slash tagger. Go get that demo. I want you to join me in getting out of our comfort zones. I'll explain more next on Winfluence. LinkedIn believes B2B marketing can be B2 brilliant, B2 bold, and B2 breakthrough. How? With a platform purpose built to make B2B mean more for your business. A platform with tools to help you build better relationships with your key customers, to boost your buyer journey while building your brand. A platform with the trusted data and lead generation you need to beat KPIs, drive ROI, and stand out amongst the competition. And with the targeting tools on LinkedIn, you can reach your precise audience right down to their job title, company name, location, and more to make sure your ads are always being seen by those who matter. So get ready to be to boldly go where no marketers have gone before. Because LinkedIn is where B2B is everything it can be. Rethink your B2B marketing LinkedIn ads and get a $100 credit on your next campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash MPN to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash MPN. Terms and conditions apply. How can you change the world, build a company, or establish an industry if no one knows you exist? Marketing makes you exist. The Space Marketing Podcast is where we explore marketing principles, strategies, and tactics through the lens of space. Join me, Izzy House, as we talk with industry professionals about their challenges and successes with marketing in the new space economy. Subscribe at spacemarketingpodcast.com or look for the Space Marketing Podcast wherever you listen. I never thought exploring the Rocky Mountains with my kids would be life-changing, but it certainly was. I didn't want to get out of the car and hike up a steep mountain, but I wanted to see Boulder Falls. More importantly, I wanted to see my kids see Boulder Falls. As I did and took the incredible beauty and awe-inspiring power of a rushing waterfall amidst the jutting points of millennia-old mountain formations, it struck me that my reluctance to do something different has shielded me from experiences like this. Kentucky has waterfalls and hiking trails and natural beauty. I've experienced some of them in my life, but not nearly enough, and certainly not in a long, long time. Then I thought about that cruel irony of my comfort zone slowly creating a body of discomfort. I've lived a life of not being active or exercising, of not putting the right foods and fuels in my body, because I wanted the comfort of the sweets and fatty foods I enjoyed more. I wanted the comfort of my couch and my Netflix or sporting events, rather than the discomfort of going for a hike or even walking around the neighborhood. I decided then and there, it's time to get out of my comfort zone, so I can enjoy life more fully. And we can all do this, even within the confines of our work in the influence space. So here's a bit of a challenge to each of you to parallel my own personal challenges I'm putting myself through. For you brand side marketers, the CMOs and VPs and directors who are parsing out budget to engage influencers on your brand's behalf, you need to get out of your comfort zone. I'd like to challenge you to think about what that means. I think it means letting go of your maniacal control over your messaging and trust that smart creators you choose know how to translate that to their audience more effectively than you. I think it means investing in lesser-known creators with potential rather than going for the big audience ones that might look better on paper. I think it means insisting on going past equal and fair opportunity and engaging influencers of color, of different nationalities and religious preferences, those with outward LGBTQ representation, of those who are not able-bodied or neurotypical. When do you seize up and get tense when making a decision about the creators you work with? Notice that and ignore the tension. Take a risk. For those of you on the agency or consulting side, getting out of your comfort zone is pushing past what you lean on. 
the series of sponsored content, the drive for impressions, or for some of you, the taking instructions from the client when you know there's a better way. Get out of your comfort zone and suggest something different, something bold. Instead of finding another cooking influencer to bake with our ingredients or in our ovens, let's find two comedy YouTubers who have a bake-off while a panel of cooking influencers judges whose is best. Step outside the norm and disrupt your own thinking. For those of you who are creators, the influencers out there, veer away from trying to fit every brand into your own workflow. Drop the diva routine and really step back and think. What would happen if I dove headfirst into this brand, really got to know the team, the product, and their process? Consider yourself primarily a creative consultant to help them understand more and different ways to engage both your audience and theirs. They often need help doing so. Stop being comfortable fitting them into your box and consider jumping into theirs. Maybe you say something like this. Instead of me creating a post that talks about your brand, why don't I bring a couple of my fans along for a meeting with your design team and we film it to really bake some trust in you into my audience? It's both human nature and thus easy to take the path of least resistance, the one that is more comfortable, the one where you can sit on your couch with your ice cream and your Netflix. And then they're stepping out of your comfort zone to really make yourself better, healthier and to see a part of the world you wouldn't see otherwise. This week, I'm buying hiking shoes. I'm planning to reacquaint myself with the natural beauty I have closer to home, and also starting to save for my next trek to the Rockies. But I'm also reassessing my work, what I do, how and why I do it, what I want to work on versus what I do not want to work on. It's not comfortable but I've realized that being comfortable really means never changing, never growing, never getting better. And that's not what I want to be. I don't think that's you either. Get out of your comfort zone. Let's see what more's out there. Tell me what your comfort zone is and how you're getting out of it. Pop me an email to jason at jasonfalls.com. I'll be inspired by your stories and will appreciate every single one of them. If you like, and I'll ask for permission first, I'll share some of your examples here on the show to inspire others. Speaking of others, I'd like to ask you to invite others, namely your friends and colleagues, to listen to Influence. It's a handy show for those who want to know more about influence, influence marketing, and how it can help your business, and apparently it might also provide a needed reminder or kick in the pants now and then. Share the episode or a link to winfluencepod.com with someone who might enjoy the show. Tell them you listen, and they should too. Or drop Winfluence a rating or review on your favorite podcast app or on them all. And if you don't have a comfort zone example to share with me, I'd still love for you to help make a future episode of Winfluence awesome. Ask your question about influence or influence marketing that you want my answer to or take on. Send an email to jason at jasonfalls.com. If you're feeling adventurous, record a voice memo on your phone and email me that audio file. I'll play it and let you ask the question right here on the show using that recording. Regardless of how you ask it, I may use your comment on a future episode or your question to inspire a show topic. If I do, I'll send you a signed copy of Winfluence the book as a thank you. Winfluence, the Influence Marketing Podcast, is an audio companion to my book, Winfluence, Reframing Influencer Marketing to Ignite Your Brand. Get your copy online at winfluencebook.com. While you're there, sign up for the latest ideas about influence marketing delivered in my periodic newsletter, or book me to speak to your company or organization about influence marketing. And if you need help with your influence marketing strategy, drop me a line at jason at jasonfalls.com. If you or someone you know is an influencer, a brand manager that uses influence marketing, or one of the many amazing people working in the influence marketing services world, and they would make a good guest for the show, email me at jason at jasonfalls.com. Our theme music is One More Look by the K-Club and Grammy Award-winning producer Jaquire King. Thanks for listening, and remember, when it's not about the person, but about results, it's Winfluence.
This podcast is coming to you on MPN, the Marketing Podcast Network. There's another show on MPN you might want to check out. What if everything you know about marketing and sales is wrong? (laughs) Okay, let's not be overly dramatic. What if 20% of what you assume about marketing and sales is wrong? Marketing and sales are full of myths and misconceptions. So join us on the Rethink Marketing Podcast, where we test conventional marketing and sales concepts to see which ones hold water. And which ones simply don't. Uh, Let's not undersell it. Find marketing enlightenment on the Rethink Marketing Podcast, wherever you choose to enjoy your podcasts. This podcast is heard along the Marketing Podcast Network. For more great marketing podcasts, visit marketingpodcasts.net.